Hello, in the video coming up, I'll show you how you can change the terminal settings on Chrome OS. So if you own a Chromebook and it's capable of Linux, not all Chromebooks are, but if you do, you've most likely used a terminal before. So this is the terminal here. It's on my um, bar down here, but I will show you, if you haven't got it, you just go to your start menu, go to Linux apps, and there's your terminal. If you haven't installed Linux and your Chromebook is capable of installing Linux, I've got a video on how to do that, so take a look at my channel. So from here, if you click on terminal, you'll see once you go into here that that's the basic terminal. That's what it always looks like. But you can actually now jazz it up a bit, which is pretty nice. So we'll leave that one open because that's the actual terminal. And I'll just open up a new window here. And what we'll do, we'd make some changes. So terminal settings, and there's some themes you can choose. So that's the current theme, or you can use the light theme. Some of these options will change this screen as well, the first screen you get to, but not all of them. So that's why I'll put the terminal up here, because most of the settings are just for this part here. And then you've got classic, solarized dark, solarized light, dusk, all many different ones. For me personally, I'm, I'm not going to leave it on the black. I am going to change it. So. What I think the best thing to do is, first of all, because I couldn't see an option, there may be one, but I couldn't see an option that manages these colors here on these buttons here. So the best thing to do is first choose a theme. Forget about the background because you can change that. Choose a theme where you're happy with how they look. So, for example, there's that one there. You could have it like that. But I'm going to go with this one so it's green like that. So I'm going to leave it on that theme there. And then from there, I can change the background if I want to. So that I do like the blue, but I could change it so it's a bit darker blue if I want to. So it's great. You've got all these different options. So I'm going to have a slightly lighter blue like that, I think, for now, maybe. And then press OK there. And if you scroll down, you can see you've got a few font differences as well. So you can change it, the fonts, and you can see the fonts changing slightly there different fonts, not major difference obviously, but you can change the fonts. They might make a difference actually. If you, if, you, if you struggle to read one of the fonts, then definitely have a go at changing that. And you can also, I'll just put it back for default for now, but you can also change the font size. So it's currently default to 13, but you can go all the way up to 20. So that's good if you, if you want it to have bigger text. So that's much better there. I'm going to put mine back down to 13, but you do have the option. And then you also have the option for the text color. Now the text color here, if we change that to a dark red, yeah, so that's what I thought. So it changes the text in a certain way. So if, for example, I'll just take it off dark red, I'll just put it on a real light blue. It changes this text here. It doesn't change that, but it does change text when you start right in the text so you can see your text is slightly different color to that text there so that's what that does there and you've got cursor as well i quite like this one because that's the standard cursor what you get like that I, i've changed it to blinking so it wasn't on blinking it was just standard like that but i do prefer a blinking background so you can change it put it on blinking have it on block, I quite like the block, but you've also got beam. So if you have beam, just like a little flashing cursor like that, or you've got underline, so that's just like an underlying cursor like that. They all these look so take me back many, many years before we use Windows as much, any sort of Windows computer. So I'm going to leave mine on block. And you can change the color of the block as well. So if you wanted to, you could make it stand out. A lot more so you could put on a red for example and put it on red and then it stands out a lot more as you can see like that this here you can also change it so if you wanted it to be non-transparent just put it right up there and then that will give you a solid block like that or if you wanted it a bit more transparent, you can go like that. I'm personally going to mess about with it quite a bit until I've got it just how I like it, because I think it's really great to customize your Chromebook. 
And the Linux terminal, you, you, you do have to use the Linux terminal to an extent if you use Linux on the Chromebook. Yeah, you can install Linux apps, and I've got videos to show you how to do that, which makes installing programs much easier because it's like an app store. But understanding the terminal and getting used to the terminal is something I think is good to do if you're going to be using Linux. And then here, that's all done. But the good thing is as well, which I quite like, you've got it there like that, but you can actually choose an image as well. So if you go to select and just choose an image, um, I'm in Google Drive, I guess my downloads folder. Um, choose an image, I'll just take an image of a dog. I'll take that one there, just open. And then you've got an image, which looks really nice. And it does matter. So if you're going to use an image, make sure it's a big enough image. I'd go for a full HD if you can, because you can, it's open these terminals right up so if you want it to look really nice then you'd want it to be at least well if you're using a full hd laptop or chromebook of course if you're using a 4k chromebook you'd want to try and get a 4k picture but yeah if you get a full hd and you can see it's really nice and it just adds a bit of something to your command line terminal rather than just a black screen so i really like that i think it's good i, I don't know when this come in i, I know they changed the terminal a few months ago but i didn't really take too much notice of changing the actual the way it looks but i do like it i think it looks nice it's good that you can do it the more we can customize our chromebooks to suit us the better and the fact that now we can start customizing our linux to terminal and other things in linux it's great so i really like that so really that's all that video was this video is about it's just to show you how you can now also customize your terminal on linux on chrome os so i hope you liked this video if you did please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching